leg of lamb, boneless, seasoned up, ready to go on the pit barrel cooker. It's been a while since I've used this on this channel. Thought it's time to bring it back for a cook. I'm gonna cook something I never had. Always wanted to. It's a leg of lamb. So first, yellow mustard binding agent. Rub that all over this lamb. Get it so that the seasoning will stick. And I used beef and game pit barrel rub. Um, I've really enjoyed this rub on just about any cut of meat, burgers, uh, uh, beef, and now lamb. We're going to try it on. And then some chili, roasted garlic, and parmesan. And I mean, I didn't go easy on this. I just kept putting it on here. Got to put that on good and patted that down inside there real well. And then did the other side. And after I did that, I went ahead and uh, reattached or put a skewer to kind of hold a piece together and do some finishing touches and then lit the pit barrel and let this sit while I uh, did that part. So I have it inside. Let me go grab it and let's put it on here for, I don't know, an hour or so. And here it is. As you see, I've kind of got them uh, skewers just poking through two ends to try to hold that together uh, during the cook. I've also got it in this pan. I could have... Um, hung it using one of these or I could have put it directly on it without it being in a pan and the cook could finish that way I don't know we'll see what happens but the reason I'm putting it in this pan right now is because I'm hoping some juices come out of this and I'm going to use some of the droppings in the pan you know, when it's done to just do a little simple sauce, some little red wine, a little chicken broth, and stir it up and, and use it as a sauce over top of it. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know. Uh, kind of putting it together. Something I haven't yet tried. So uh, I debated on cooking on the pit barrel or my uh, Weber Smoky Mountain, but this gets a little, I think, hotter temperature. I think this is more what I want for this cook, and I don't want to cook it long term. Uh, it's going to take cook a while, but I don't want to cook it for several hours. So hopefully uh, this gets done here shortly, or hour, hour and a half, I don't know. And uh, probably cook it to about 130 degrees internal. Medium rare is what I'm looking for. I'm going to put, make some potatoes to go with it as well. Um, or vegetables or something and anyway uh, stick around we'll see how this turns out here in uh, just a little while so it's been about an hour and just take a look at that wow looking really really good let me go ahead and check the temperature see there we're at about 110 on this side, I checked it a minute ago, and this side over here, if you can see there, we're actually a lot hotter, 132. So this side still needs a little, little bit to go, and um, I thought it'd be a good time to add a little butter. Matter of fact, I'm going to add this whole stick, and this butter is going to help with the sauce that I'm going to make with all of the uh, drippings and everything. I'll let this melt and then I'll get a brush and kind of brush the juices all up on here. I'm just going to put a whole stick of butter. Just let that go down in there and let that all melt up and let that cook a little more. We're almost there. Now to go along with this, I've got some potatoes, garlic, full pieces of garlic and potatoes. I'm just going to throw in this right here. I'm going to let those potatoes cook down just a little bit. And then I'm going to even add a little bit of a, got some squash and zucchini here. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be great, but I don't want to put that in just yet. I'm going to go ahead and just cover it up, keep the flies out of it for a minute, and let these potatoes cook down a little bit, because this won't take long. And then we'll throw those in. One more look at this. You can see how it is 
Really coming together nice. Let's check the temperature now. Yep, 123. That side's more than done. I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pull this here. I'm going to give it just a little bit more. This side will be just, actually, I think this is perfect. This side will be rare. This side will be a little more <laughs> done. Uh, yeah, I'll give it just a couple minutes. You can see that fire going down there. Let's go back to the potatoes. Put the lid back on here. I'll be taking this off here in just a second. Oops, got to take that. Some of the same seasoning, the roasted garlic and parmesan, I'm going to throw one here. As well as a little bit of salt and pepper. Now we're just going to go ahead and add the squash. Got a, almost got, need a bigger pan. Squash and zucchini. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook up for just a little bit. I'm going to take the lamb off and I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. And then uh, we'll come back to this right here. This should be getting done. Uh, let this cook while the uh, lamb continues to rest. So I've removed the leg of lamb. I've got it inside resting. And here is some of the remains. The butter we put in it. A little bit of the uh, scraps that came from it and the juice and that type of thing. A can of chicken broth. A little bit of red wine. And some salt. Get that stirred up in there. And we're just going to let that cook for about 10 or 15 minutes. Kind of let it uh, reduce down a little bit. And then I'll try to strain it out a little bit. And that's going to go over the final product. It hopefully is amazing. So here it is. We're going to unwrap it. I've had this resting for about almost 30 minutes. Definitely got them juices there. Guys, we're going to cut into this. Cut out a couple little pieces here. It's really good. Juicy. Nice flavor. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to take a piece of this off. Some potatoes and some squash and right there and zucchini and garlic. and garlic gotta have the garlic don't forget the garlic it's all in there and then this is the uh, I strained this out the uh, juice that I made with the little bit of sauce that I made put this over it it's a little thin not as thick as I'd like but we're gonna see how that tastes with it you want to look at it and try to cut against the grain. I can see where the grain's going here. Cut against the grain. That way it won't be tough. Cut against that grain and it's real tender. Definitely good. First time we've tried this leg of lamb on the pit barrel cooker. Come out really, really fantastic. It's real tender. Just cut against that grain like that. We're fixing, fixing to have some good dinner. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, you enjoy out door cooking so uh think about subscribing it's all about outdoors it always tastes better